Welcome back. This session is about transport service primitives. You already seen that user can write programs in the transport le level, right? Yeah, using the socket programming. And as you know, actually the user program space is this above the soil, right? User space. So user can write programs here, but the transport layer services are actually implemented within the OS, right? Within the OS, we have the transport service, then below that we have the network layer services like that. Okay. So how this uh, transport layer services can be accessed within the user program? Yeah, for that uh, definitely this OS should provide some interface between this application program and this transport layer services, right? Yeah, that is through a set of primitive operations. Through these primitives, user program can access the services provided by this transport layer and once the data is handed over to this transport layer, definitely the rest will be handled by the transport layer. Okay, first we will see a set of primitives in a hypothetical protocol just to understand how it actually works. Then we will move to the real uh, transport protocol used in internet that is TCP. So these are the set of primitives listen, connect, send, receive and disconnect. So we are using a client server model to explain these uh, different primitives. So let us take the browsing example itself. So client want to search some data from the web server. Okay. So client will request for some data and the server will reply with the corresponding requested data. For such a client server communication, the initial condition is that the server should be ready for communication with the client. Server is ready to accept a request from the client. Such a primitive is called listen. Okay. So initially the server should be in a listen state. So one of the server process or server thread is uh, waiting for some request from any client okay so that state is actually called listen and the corresponding primitive is listen primitive there won't be any packets in that that time and uh, that meaning is that this uh, corresponding server thread is blocked and some process tries to connect and the server is waiting to serve some client okay only at that stage client can try to access the data so if the client want to access the data from the server so, it should first establish a connection okay so that is the second primitive connect client will send a connect request to the server okay and uh, definitely with that request it will send a packet details of the a client uh, port number everything should be there so such a packet also will be sent with the corresponding request so that is the second primitive here connect and once the connect request is received by the server, it can accept the request. So different types of connection establishments are there. Either a two-way, three-way, we will see the, uh, those types of connection establishment. So definitely upon receiving the connect request, the server will reply with a connection acknowledgement if it is ready to accept such a connection. And once the connection is established, that is a client that received back a connection acknowledgement, it can now send the data. For sending the data, it will use the send primitive. So remember that this connect, send and everything is actually primitive so services provided by the transport layer. So when the connect primitive is used in an application program, that meaning is that that application program requests the corresponding transport layer to issue such a connection request. Okay. And send also like that, send actually the data from the application layer is to be sent by this transport layer. So the transport layer will take the buffer, the data from the buffer, the buffer will be filled by the application and that data will be sent to the server. So send is the primitive operation and the data will be the packet sent and the meaning of this is sending information. So upon executing the send primitive, the data will be sent to the server side. In the transport layer, the data will be filled in the buffer of the transport layer here. And uh, by executing the receive primitive here, the data will be taken back by the application layer in the server side. Okay. So for that, we are using the receive primitive. It's actually a function call to take the data from the buffer here by the application process here. Like that, data transfer can be done many number of times between the server and client using a sequence of send and receive primitive. And once the communication is over, either one of the server or client can initiate a disconnection request. It can terminate the connection. For that, we are using this disconnect primitive together with a packet uh, containing the information about the connection to be terminated. 
and the meaning is that this side wants to release the connection and once the disconnection request is received by here the server can acknowledge it thereby disconnecting the entire communication the thing to be noted here is that uh, the data transfer can be done between these two processes only if there is an active connection okay so definitely before transferring any data by calling that send primitive or receive primitive it should ensure that there is an active connection otherwise it have to wait okay and that means uh, the each time this uh, transport layer primitive should remember the corresponding connection state right whether it is active now okay that is why it is called stateful connection these are the primitives required for connection establishment initially the client will send a connection request if the server is in the listen state server is ready to accept a connection that is the listen state so that will send for a connection request upon receiving this a server will acknowledge it back yeah i am ready for a connection so such a connection is established now okay once the connection is established both the client and server can send and receive data using the send and receive primitive any number of times and once the data transfer is over it can request for a disconnect you can see here client request for a disconnect and uh, upon receiving this server is also acknowledging back the disconnection after this the connection will be terminated now let us move to the state diagram of a simple connection management scheme the state diagram indicates how the state of the connection changes when different types of primitives are actually executed so this is very important because uh, by checking the state of the connection only the data transfer can be actually done right so the dotted line part indicates the server side and the other side this part indicates the client side okay so initially both client and uh, server will be in the idle state right yeah and suppose after some time the client want to send a connection request to the server corresponding activity is connect primitive executed and when such a primitive is executed connection request is sent to the server the state will be changed into active establishment pending yeah, because it's already sent a request to the server but the corresponding acknowledgement is not received back so this will be the state active establishment pending and after some time definitely a server will respond with the acknowledgement right when such a acknowledgement is received that is connection accepted tpdu is received from the server now the state will be changed into established now the connection is established and while moving to the server side the activity here is connection request tpdu is received from the client upon receiving such a request now the state will be changed into passive establishment pending because the connection request is initiated by the client now server will be in the passive establishment pending state and after some time it will respond with the acknowledgement right yeah connect primitive is executed sending an acknowledgement back to the uh, client now the state will be established once the state is established now the data transfer can be done and after finishing all the data transfer corresponding connection can be terminated right let's suppose the client is requesting for a disconnection so activity here is disconnect primitives executed it sent a disconnect request to the server now the state will be moved to active disconnect pending it initiated a disconnect request but the reply is not received from the server and after some time it will receive back a reply from the corresponding server right yeah disconnection request tpd is received after that it will move to idle state and what about the server side yeah when receive a disconnect request from the uh, client side yeah this will be the activity upon receiving such it will uh, the state will be changed into passive disconnect pending and once it is acknowledged the corres uh, corresponding request then now the state will be changed into idle state so this is the state diagram these are the different steps in connection establishment in a connection oriented service client will first issue a connect primitive right it will cause a connection request tpdu to be sent to the server and uh, when it arrives at the server the transport entity in the server will check to see whether the server is already blocked on a listen then only it can accept the corresponding connection request right yeah it then unblocks the server and sends a connection accepted tpdu back to the client only if the server is waiting on a listen it will unblock the corresponding server thread and sends the connection accepted tpdu back to the client upon receiving this tpdu back by the client 
it is uh, ready for a data transfer right yeah the connection client is unblocked and the connection is established now data can be exchanged between the client and uh, server using this send and receive primitives right yeah and once this data transfer is over the disconnection stage is happening when a connection is no longer needed it must be released to free up table space within the two transport entities yeah so how this disconnection can be done two variants are there asymmetric disconnection is there and symmetric disconnection is also there in case of asymmetric disconnection either transport user can issue a disconnect primitive which results in a disconnect tpdu being sent to the remote transport entity upon arrival the connection will be released anyone can decide whether i i want to terminate the whole connection it will send a request to the other side and uh, reply will be received from the other side the connection will be terminated that is asymmetric case but in symmetric case each direction is closed separately that means if the client want to close its connection that means the data transfer from the client to server is only finished server can still continue transfer data and if the server want to send the data or server want to close the connection it will send a uh, separate request to terminate the corresponding connection that means when one side does disconnect that uh, it has no more data to send that's the meaning of such a disconnect request but it is still willing to accept the data from its partner okay in this model a connection is released when both sides have done a disconnect both of them want to disconnect only the complete uh, connection will be terminated otherwise one way connection at least will be there in this type of symmetric connection 